guys, I went to the Dollar Tree a couple days ago and looking around and saw a bunch of cleaning products that I haven't sampled and tested out over on this channel. So that's what I'm going to do today. I found 10 products actually. They're a range between cleaners and like cleaning products, like broom handles, things like that. But I do have several items that we're going to go ahead and test out. And what I mean when I say it's a mixture of cleaning products and cleaners, Technically, these would be cleaners. This would be like a cleaning product, an accessory to help you clean. This is what I mean. Cat mat back there, just ignore that. It's one of them self-heating mats for them right there because it's been cold in Florida. I understand people are like, that's not cold to Florida. We've had some cold weather, but I'm gonna go ahead and show everything that we have. I've never seen their little squirt bottles before, so I want to try one of those. We have some glass wipes, Brillo pads. I've used these, but not in actually a testing video for the Dollar Tree. This Brillo version of OxyClean, I'm really excited to try. Some multi-purpose, multi-surface cleaning wipes. There was two cents for those. These are Magic Eraser type sheets, like I normally get with Mr. Clean. They had their version. These are multi-surface cleaning wipes for meant for like inside of your car more. I'm curious how close they actually are to each other, which is another reason why I pick these up. And then this is like a magic eraser slash scrubber and it is by the pine Sol brand which i didn't even know pine Sol branched out because this is actually pine Sol too and it is a squeegee for the shower because i haven't had one in there for a while i'll discuss that further when i get in there but it's a pine Sol squeegee as well as one of their heads because you buy the pole and then they've got a whole bunch of different like broom heads mop heads this is their rubber brush. I like to start with the easier stuff first. It's not a whole lot of thrills, fuss and a must type deal. So I am gonna start with the squeegee. We take the squeegee and we squeegee and we squeegee. Since he wants to be a smart aleck, he's gonna go show how that works in my shower. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I love to keep a scrub brush in my shower. It is half Dawn and half white vinegar. I use it when I'm in there and I'm doing my hair, waiting for a mask or something. I'll scrub down the shower. Makes my life easier. I normally have a squeegee for the glass doors when I get out. Mine broke a long time ago. That's what this is for. He just wet both sides door. Yes, we have a broken shower door. It's been broke for like two years. I don't care. But this shower, I scrubbed both doors when I was in there. Now you see all the dots and all the water still sitting on this door. If you don't squeegee it off, all of that leaves those nasty little water marks on the door. And if you have hard water, like we do, it leaves that nasty film where you have to scrub more often. If you do this, after every shower, whether you clean the doors or not, you don't get that build up. There's nothing special to it. You're just literally taking a $1.25 little thing and they do have wider ones in the Dollar Tree. I want to try the Pine Sol brand and see if it works well. But this is all you're gonna do and it will keep your shower doors looking amazing. You can also do this to the windows in your house when you clean them, squeegee them off and it keeps them cleaner longer too. And the squeegee does work. It's not leaving like a water line in the middle or anything. It is straight across. I mean, I think it's actually good. Definitely worth $1.25. It does have a little hole. You know, you could put it on a hook or something. I don't have any hooks in my shower right now, so that's good. Next item we're going to do is the rubber broom end. If you've been in that section, you know that you could pick a broom, a mop, one of these, a dustpan, all kinds. They're like version of Swiffer, and you buy the pole separate. This one's on my little dustpan, and then you just use the different pole for each one of these. And all of them are made, so you just screw it on. And then you're ready to go. What these are good for, if you have a water spill or something on your floor, they will actually help you clean up the water a lot faster and move it easier than trying to use a traditional broom or even a mop. But the other good thing about these is if you have pets, like we do, you can get the hair out of the rug. Now keep in mind, we just did a massive deep clean yesterday or the day before on all of our floors. So I'm gonna try and get as much pet hair, but I don't know how much we're actually gonna get. Muscle man over there to try and get as much out as he can. Nothing. I didn't think so. <laughs> Nothing. We did the vacuum oh, 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 oh. and the carpet cleaner, so. I saw a tuff of hair, but that was probably because I haven't vacuumed today. Nope, nothing. Let's try the area rug because Hunter lays right there where my husband's at all the time and see if it gets up any of it. And yes, it's a broom in Mako, so he's gonna be in the way. Hold on, watch out, baby. What? Is it doing anything? I mean, I didn't see that a second ago, but I mean. I can see the marks in the carpet, so you're doing something. Feels oh, yeah, look. It's pulling stuff up. 
right here. There's dog hair in like four spots and some other stuff. Mako baby. This is better than Amazon one you had. Yeah, it's working. What he means by this is better than the Amazon one that I have, I found one that was talked about all over TikTok and Instagram, and it's like $20 on Amazon. I think it's $22 actually. I have it, we don't like it, it does not work that well. The stick doesn't actually stay, it like collapses on itself. It's just not a really great product. This was working better than that one. On to the squirt bottle. Now, I have seen these in Walmart for less than $2. This was still gonna be $1.25. The sticker right here is the first thing that's irritating me because it is definitely not a clean come off. So if that bothers you. But then on the side, it does have a spot for you to write whatever you stuck in there. It has all kinds of different measurements on it for different ways to dilute products. Like if you are an LA Awesome fan, that product needs to be diluted and it gets different measurements per whatever you're cleaning. So this would help with that but I'm not even sure how well this thing's gonna go, so let's try. Yes, there's dirty dishes in my sink. We live here, that happens. For this bottle, I'm not even gonna try any of the diluting just yet. I'm only gonna try plain water and see how well this thing works. I have to clean my stainless today anyways, so I'm just gonna test on that because it'll be the easiest place for you to see how well this thing does. So first things first, we're gonna open it just a tiny bit. Oh, okay. We're doing good. It's very, very loose and wobbly though. So it is kind of hard to hold because every time I'm trying to push the trigger, it's turning that way on me. It does have very nice coverage though, I will say that. But as far as the trigger goes and it turning on itself, I don't like that. Now let's see about turning it up a little higher. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know, I've gotten better, very cheap squirt bottles like this, the equivalent at Walmart, and they didn't do this so easily. At least it's not loosening the bottle so I don't have to worry about the chemicals falling everywhere, but this top part, I don't like holding in my hand and trying to repeat spray. It's not working out real well. My husband is trying to see how long he can continue to spray it before it has a problem, because that has been another issue, is longevity of the bottle. And he said it's fine and the little twisty part isn't bothering him, so you can pick one up if you really wanna do that. But for me holding on to it, I don't enjoy it. But he's having no problem. We did put some blue Ajax in that spray bottle to help test it out. That is one of my absolute favorite items to get from Dollar Tree, as well as this right here. It's LA Awesome. It is so good on cleaning all kinds of stuff. I mostly do my outdoor patio furniture with it. It is very strong, but it is amazing, as well as my drain snake. I get that from Dollar Tree because they're so cheap and I keep them and reuse them. They're fantastic. There are tons of items that I get and reuse from the Dollar Tree all the time. This Blue Ajax is one of my absolute favorites. One of my subscribers told me about it, put me on it years ago. I've never gone back. There are items, however, do not purchase them at the Dollar Tree, like the toilet bowl cleaner. They have a toilet bowl cleaner in there, it's Lysol brand. It is $1.25 for only eight ounces. If you go to Walmart, it becomes $2.44 and it is 24 to 28 ounces on the bottle, depending if it's got that little percentage more on top of it, for a dollar more, a little over a dollar more. There are items that you do not purchase cleaning supplies at the Dollar Tree. If you want that list, let me know and I will walk you through Dollar Tree with a yes and a no on what's actually saving you money and what's not. While we're on that subject of what's worth your money and what's not to pick up from the Dollar Tree, this box of Brillo Basics, if you've never used these things, they are amazing. I use them inside of my air fryer to get all that cooked on grease out of there. Work phenomenal. This right here is an eight count box for $1.25. If you go into Walmart, they only sell it in a 10 count box and it is still almost $3 for two more. That's ridiculous. The air fryer is definitely where I use my Brillo pads the most. Now, if you see up in the top of this air fryer, you see all of the grease and gunk. This cleans it so easy. If you've never seen one before, it's just like steel wool and it's got a cleaner already built into it. I use warm water, and this actually Dollar Tree little storage container, their version of Tupperware. I use this for all of my cleaning, I love it. But you just wet it, and if you bring it in here, 
you see it just kind of like melts it all away it works so well microfiber just got water on it nothing else and I'm just gonna wipe it all away so you can see look at that now that was no elbow grease nothing whatsoever and then look up here to the section I didn't do versus what I did and this was just like two seconds of scrubbing I could actually like really get in there and scrub scrub but I didn't look at that the huge difference and the water is so gross and I can continue using that same one for that whole top piece and I still have seven more to go. One note I will say, when I get done with this, I'm gonna clean the rest of it off camera. I will plug it in and I will turn it on to about 400, maybe even 425 for about five or six minutes. That way it burns all of that chemical out of there and I don't have any residual smell or grossness go into my food. And I do that exact same thing whenever I clean my oven. No matter how well I think I've wiped it down or scrubbed it down, I will still turn on my oven and preheat it and let it stay on for a good 10 or 15 minutes just to burn out any last minute smells. Let's move into the erasers, the closest equivalent for each one that I could find. This right here is a three count of the Pine Sol. It is the eraser on one side, a scrubber on the other. The Mr. Clean equivalent was a three pack for $3.46 at Walmart. And it does not have the scrubber side, by the way. That is just the original magic eraser. And then this is obviously a three count for $1.25. These right here are supposed to be equivalent to the magic eraser sheets. I absolutely love them. They come in like a little book and you tear them off and use them that way. I could not find them at Walmart. They are completely sold out even online. So the prices show and reflect that. But Target still does have some on their website and it does come in two different counts. So for the eight count, of Magic Erasers sheets was $3.49, and then they also have a 16 count that is $5.59. This right here is a five count for $1.25. I opened the package for one right there. It says compared to Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. On the back, it's really, really tiny. It tells you what not to use it on. Again, I'm a random person on the internet. Test your areas first. Don't just go testing random products around your house. You'll ruin your stuff. Me. I'm good with this table. Also, this is not a scrubber. This whole thing is just a sponge. That is not a scrubber. So. And yeah, she was on her mat, like I said. But this right here is all paint from my kids. So wet the sponge. Wring it out. Now, typically, these, I will cut magic erasers into like three just to make them go further. But. Let me see how the blue side works on all of the painted area. Yeah, it's taking it off. And now let's go to the white side. Move her mat. And it does take it off. I am having to use a little more elbow grease than I normally have to use with a magic eraser. Normally stuff just kind of falls right off with a magic eraser. This isn't giving me that. This is making me have to work a little harder. But it's still not falling apart or anything. It's pretty good and solid. Actually rust from these legs and the dog water and they splash it and then they kick the bowls all along my kitchen to let us know, hey, feed me. They're, they're pathetic. But this is actually rust, so. And it takes it very well. Like there's just a tiny bit right there that I could probably scrub out. So it is working on the rust, which is nice. That says a lot. I had to put y'all up on the actual countertop because the dogs won't leave my legs alone for a minute. The sheets, these are bigger than the Mr. Clean sheets, but they're also a little thicker. Now, a typical standard Mr. Clean sheet, I can clean quite a bit with it before it breaks down and I can't use it anymore. I can still clean a pretty long way, so I'm curious how far I can get with one of these. It's pretty good size, pretty good thickness. I can bend it, mold it all around, so we're gonna see. Right here on this door. Took the smudge, but it's not taking that at all right here below my cabinet kind of looks like charlie brown's hair it's pen or pencil or something from my daughter 
clean that up real nice. I always go behind and wipe with a dry microfiber just to make sure there's no residue. Whatever this gross, sticky, nasty is. Yep, yeah. that came off. Cool, let's kick it up a notch. There's some more rust. Wow, that's crazy. There's lipstick on my daughter's wall in her bedroom. I'm gonna go try it on that. There's a few spots on the house that I'm just gonna bring you with me real quick to scrub it, because I really do wanna see how far I can get with just this one sheet. It's performing very well. The lipstick, obviously, that's a little bit harder, but it is starting to disintegrate. Like you can see the holes starting to form in it. And I am starting to get where I can feel the little itty like fibers of it. I can feel it on my hands. So it is breaking down very quickly. But honestly, I like these so much better than those other sponges, the sponge erasers. And they do hold up very well to like the Mr. Clean sheet. So for the money, definitely. And if you really wanna stretch this a little further, if you were only trying to clean like one small area, your kid drew on something with a crayon or something, these you can also cut down and get you know 10 out of that package or 20 out of that package, however you wanna do. You don't have to use the full sheet at one time. I love OxyClean. So when I saw this in the Dollar Tree, I knew that I had to try it. This right here is 16 ounces, obviously $1.25. But if you buy OxyClean, it comes in a three pound tub or a five pound tub, which basically works out if you buy the three, three pound tub, it is 48 ounces. So it is three of these. So if this works well, that would only be $3.75 for this product as opposed to $9.28 is what the three pound tub is going for at Walmart right now. I'm gonna have to disturb a sleepy Mako because this throw blanket is what I'm testing the OxyClean on. Look at all this stuff that he tracks in from going outside and then this was something with one of the kids. I think it was that red kinetic sand, but like this right here, he was actually chewing on his feet. He does that, he's got allergies and skin allergies. But this right here is what I'm going to test the OxyClean on. Like I didn't even know that was on there. This is on the other side. I just threw it over the dog. <laughs> this is I think chocolate right here. So there's plenty of stains to test this out on. I typically use Tide Pods. Tide Pods have stain fighters in them. So I don't want to use this. The two I have, this is also still Tide, but it's a free and clear hygienic clean. And I have Everspring, but it does say that it has power stain fighting enzymes. Since this one specifically mentions stains and this one doesn't, I'm gonna use the Tide. Just gonna use the normal amount I would use. The blankie, I did no stain fighters whatsoever on this. Do I have them? Yes. Am I doing it? No. This is stain fighter the best stain fighter ever not using it right. this right here comes with a scoop and it says one scoop for the load which is exactly what i'm gonna do it does say to start the water first you can't do that with a front loader so that's not an option close this up run it on a normal cycle and let it go just ended look at it no strong smell either okay I don't see any of the marks at all like it actually looks really really good it doesn't look like it was any like brightening to it but otherwise it looks good. Another product I'm not mad at. This one right here. They take turns on the warming mat. It's adorable. But the next product we are gonna go into is the multi-surface cleaning wipes. There are 60 in here. 
and it doesn't really tell me it just says fresh touch i think that's the scent because the other package was a different color but i don't remember what it said right there it does say multi-surface use premium quality soft thick dual sided no lint you know lint free so and it has the little sticker if i can actually get it to open it has the resealable sticker on the front and pulls out just like a pack of baby wipes feels like a baby wipe and actually that's two so this is the size so you can reference of one. The smell is not unpleasant. It is not strong at all. Like I'm holding this up to my face to get the smell. So it's good for anybody that's sensitive to stuff like that. But it says sticky surfaces, dirt mess, doorknobs, exterior toilet bowl, tables, countertops, all that. And that it's portable so you can easily store it anywhere that you want to store it. Let's go test them out. The coffee table. It is always gross, always sticky. I see stuff right here. There's some more green or something like marker over here. There's some sticky stuff down there. Two came out of the package, so I'm gonna use both, but let's actually see how well they work. Okay. Well, whatever that green was, that came up, but whatever this sticky thing right here is using a little more effort to get up, but it did just come up down here on this end. Yeah, it took all of that really well. I don't know if you can see all the grossness on there. And it's still very, very damp. So I could keep going all around the table. I think if you were going to do like a kitchen counter or something. I think if you were gonna try and wipe down your kitchen counters with these, it wouldn't last that far because this is obviously wetter. This is the brand new one. So I don't think they would last for a whole counter, but it's doing good. Sticky mess. This right here is pasta sauce from last night. I didn't see it was back there. And it's on pretty good, you can tell. It's not coming off on my finger. Yep. Works beautifully. The last two items I'm gonna treat almost like a team because these are glass wipes and it does show a windshield right down here. So I'm gonna try these in the car and glass in the house, obviously. But since these are specifically made for cars, I'm gonna put these two together, go try them out in my car. But first, I'm gonna try these inside. Now my big thing when it comes to glass cleaner, and I've said it before, I love a glass cleaner that I can also use on my stainless. I use Sprayway glass cleaner. It's $2 and change at Walmart, lasts a while. It is fantastic, not a heavy smell, just an overall great cleaner. I use it on my mirrors, my glass, my stainless steel. I use it all over and it's fantastic. It does not streak. Most glass cleaners leave a streak or a film. That's what I don't want to happen, so we're gonna try that first on the sliding glass door. I'm hoping you could see all the haze right there from my kids, my dogs, all that. So let's see. Back and forth in this one area. A lot of that's outside, so I'm gonna go get that too, real quick. Let it dry for a second and see if it streaks, but it does definitely work. However, these do not feel very damp at all. I know it's gonna be next to impossible for you to see, but if you look right around this spot, that streaks on the outside. On the inside, it doesn't look like it's streaked at all, but on the outside where it was much worse, there are noticeable streaks all throughout this area. See them? See all the haze and streaks right here? It looks like that all the way down. It streaked the glass, but I still have a really dirty part of my microwave, so I'm just gonna try it on the stainless. Give it a second and see what it does just on this bottom line right down here and let it dry a second. These right here say multi-surface cleaning wipes. They clean vinyl, plastic, you name it. It shows mostly like a dashboard. Definitely sold in the car section. These 
these 30 were the same price as the 60 so if they perform the same I'm good for that but I'm just hoping they work really really well for like all the dust and stuff that sticks up here that's what I'm mostly trying these on these are a little bigger a little thinner they definitely have more cleaner on them much smaller stronger smell if you want to try that out babe up here on all the dust in the car I'm gonna let him try it out while I film and see if it gets all of it off because you know how all that sticks and then if you use like a wet wipe it just pushes it around I wonder if it actually sticks to that wipe it's just look at it okay so it is just kind of pushing it around like my husband just said it's not really picking it up and he only did that part of the dashboard to here and as you can tell it's already visibly drying out even more so as far as for like a car cleaning wipe I definitely don't think that they hold up to what needs to be done to thoroughly clean a car. Now, if your car is completely clean all the time and this is just like a little bit of maintenance for a dirty spot, sure. What he's cleaning up is lollipop my daughter drew with. She drew hearts with her lollipop on the window. So we're testing the glass wipe to see if it actually pulls it off. I know that they're gonna streak because we found that out inside. I'm hoping they don't, but at least it looks like it's getting the sticky sugar off. It did, but it's definitely gonna streak. Yeah, I'm not even inside the car. This is just outside the car and you could see all the streaks on the inside. Look at how bad that is. And back inside from doing the car and you can see the streak all over the frigid air part. There it goes. Like it goes in and out where you could see all of the streaks. And then down here on the stainless, I doubt you're gonna be able to see that in the camera, but the whole thing is like a waterline streak all the way down it. That's all the products that I have to test for this video. There were some really good ones, and then there were some that I definitely wouldn't even spend the dollar twenty-five on, like those glass wipes. I would save my money, as well as buying the car-specific wipes. If I was gonna do that, I would just buy another pack of those multi-purpose wipes, because the smell was fine, they did a good job, and I think it would work just fine in the car compared to those, because they didn't really do anything special out there. So those two items, the glass wipes and the car wipes, I would definitely, definitely skip. But the OxyClean, that one was great, as well as the sheets for the Magic Racer, so good. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love trying out new products, you all know that. If there's any store specific products or anything that you want me to try, just let me know down below. I do check Dollar Tree about every six to eight weeks and see if there are new products and test them. So I will have another one of these eventually for you guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.